Today we're going to learn how to import ITEX7 in NetBeans and how to run a first Hello World example. Let's open NetBeans first. This is NetBeans and this is going to be my working directory. See ITEX7 jumpstart. That's where we're going to build all our stuff. Now uh, we'll, do, we'll create a new project, a Maven project for a Java application and we'll call it jump start. So ITEX7 jump start, uh, that's the project location, com ITEX PDF. Okay, that's okay for group ID and the package will be jump start. If we click finish, we'll see several things that are created, several that we know about, like the sorry. And we're especially interested in the POM file because we are going to introduce some dependencies. Dependencies. Okay. And I've prepared something, so I'm just going to copy paste that. So we have a dependency on PDF kernel, that's the basic jar, and on com itex PDF layout, and then we'll also use a log4j. Is this sufficient? We don't know yet. We'll find out soon. We'll save this and we'll build and we'll see that several things will be downloaded. And so we see the kernel, the layout, and you saw IO. So that was uh, a dependency that we didn't introduce in our Maven file, but Maven has detected that kernel depends on IO. So uh, when we look at the dependencies, we see kernel layout, but also IO, which is also an iText uh, jar. Okay, uh, now we're ready to create a Hello World example. So a new Java class, Hello World. Okay, oh, we can safely remove this. We see that this class uh, appears in our sources. So Hello World at Java. And once again, I will use a shortcut and just copy paste a class that I already prepared and uh, save it and let's take a look. So we are going to create a Hello World PDF file and this is the code that uh, is going to be executed. Now, um, let's just return here so that we can see the results dictionary, uh, the results uh, folder appear, a run file. And so when we run this file, normally once it's compiled, you'll see that a results folder and results here this results chapter one hello world pdf was the build successful yes build success and we have a hello world file can open hopefully so in this hello world file we added the hello world paragraph and indeed we see a pdf with hello world and when we look at the document properties to open then we see that the PDF was created with, with ITEX7 by ITEX7, the AGPL version.